in this installation of the great women of the 20th century, uh, volume 3, we'll be looking at artists primarily in the 70s and early 80s, the middle part of the second half of the 20th century. Artists like Pat Steer, Helen Chadwick, Rebecca Horn, Jennifer Bartlett, Nancy Grossman, plus many others. Many of the artists at this time were interested in performance and installation approaches. Also in combining sculpture with painting, installation and performance. Pat Steer emerged as an artist in the 1970s. She was known for her cascading images. Her first museum exhibition was in 1973 at the Corcoran Gallery of Art. Audrey Flack's painting career began in the 60s. Her early work was influenced by the abstract expressionists. She became part of the photorealistic movement in the late 60s. Her paintings were kitschy, gaudy, popish, and challenged presuppositions about taste. Cicely Brown was a very talented artist who entered the art world in the 1990s. Her paintings tend towards a very expressionistic blend of figuration and abstraction. She says she was influenced by Willem de Kooning, Francis Bacon, and Joan Mitchell. Chadwick was a conceptual artist slash sculptor and also a performance artist. She had something of a feminist bent. She often addressed the role and image of women in society. Chadwick's first London show was a performance titled In the Kitchen. In the piece, Chadwick and some friends strapped themselves in canvas models of kitchen implements. Rebecca Horn was an installation artist, performance artist, and sculptor. She's famous for using unorthodox materials like feathers. She did performance too in 1972. In the piece, she scratched the wall with a mask of pencils. The work is about nature, but it also is about feelings. I made a whole series of these linear forms, first in plaster and sparkles, and then later in the metal of the metalizing. And I think that my attitude towards whatever situation I pick, whether it's figurative or abstract, is I, you know, I'm aware that there's a change in light there. I'm aware that this is a pretty natural situation. In other words, there is a pool, there's water, there's, there's things that are familiar. But making it look like a shadow to me, realistically, is not of interest to me. Making it, doing my interest really lies somewhere else. Nancy Grossman is famous for her figures and heads wrapped in leather, straps, zippers, and string. She has said in her work she tries to challenge the ideas of gender identity and gender fluidity. Elizabeth Osborne was a very engaging artist. She's known for her highly luminous and colorful paintings that very skillfully blended representational forms and abstract design. 
66 shows Osborne beginning to find her stylistic tendencies. Her paintings were always exquisitely executed, even as she played with unorthodox approaches. She was a master of soft edges and often included hard and soft as important forces in her work. 